everything is wet. Everything is dry at our house. <laughs> it's a good thing that we came early, you guys, because, yeah, mud. <laughs> We've been grooming and grooming and grooming. These are all these little tiny baby flies. But we've been grooming like crazy, and he is dirty. And your horse is dirty. You have to do more. It's about to pour, and the outdoor is a mess, so we are riding inside. Today feels so much like fall, you guys. Like, the weather, it's kind of cool out, and I don't know what is wrong with my hair lately. I think I need a new straightener. Anyways, hurry, Brandon wants you on your horse. Here, quick. Hi. And Sophie is next. The other thing that's happening is that all the kids are going back to school, so lessons are all turning around again. And Elizabeth is changing lessons because of her new school schedule. So she can't ride with us anymore. All right, let's do the test. Let's do the test. Denver looks good. I helped Sophie. He was pitch black. I should have taken him before and after. Uh, any parts of him that look dark still are because we washed him. So it's like mud with water on it, basically. Kate in her shiny boots. Who will be next? Stop the video right here and comment who's going to be next. Who's going to be next? It's Elizabeth or Julia? I definitely think Julia too. What's your name? Sophie. Sophie. Hi, how are you feeling right now? My face hurts. I'll bet it does. It looks a little swollen. Did you lose consciousness at all? No. No? How does your neck feel? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt? Okay. Just my face. Just my face too. Yeah. And she had blurry vision as soon as she landed. Oh, I'll bet. What part of you, uh, like what part hit the ground? Um, my head. Your head? Okay, and you were wearing a helmet? Yeah. Do we have the helmet still? She'll get a new one now. I mean, she. Yeah, she has to get I mean, maybe she didn't hit right here. Maybe she hit yeah, here. It looks like she hit yeah. right there. Yeah. Or she. I don't know. It looks like yeah. Anywhere else hurt? Yeah. Um, no. But I'm probably gonna be sore for a couple of days. I imagine you will be sore for a couple of days. <laughs> All right. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna Google check your blood pressure. And what you have under our bed. This is what her helmet looks like. So this is where she hit. So that is the side of her face that landed. But yeah. she, I could have swore, she landed on the top of her head, but it must have been right there. Yeah, and this like helped. This is way more comfier than the fan. Yeah. You are? She's 12. Is she, is she, she's concerned about if she'll have to go alone. She, you can come with us. Oh, okay, thank in, you. Yeah. yeah, okay, that would be great. Absolutely. Thank you so much. If you have a vehicle, you can call her. I'd rather go. She's afraid. To, she's afraid to go by herself. Yep. No problem at all. Do you have her help, Kurt? I do. Perfect. I will have you get that note, honey. I don't know what I'm feeling forevermore. I don't care about the feelings, not anymore. So let's show them, let's show them that love is pure, no matter who it's for. for. guys welcome to today you guys know from watching the video that Sophie had a tiny fall a tiny fall I just edited the video and I realized that I didn't really get a chance to show you guys or tell you guys what happened because we do daily videos I don't like to post about falls too much because I know people get scared kids get scared and they don't want to ride after so I try I want to try and keep it brief essentially she we were at the beginning of our lesson and we were waiting for everyone to arrive and uh, Sylvia was walking around just getting ready to warm up her horse. So anyways, uh, Sylvia just picked up the trot. She went around a couple of times at a walk. It was our, fir it was our first ride inside. It started raining outside and uh, Brandon said, let's move our lesson to the indoor. So we went inside. Uh, we were waiting for our friends to arrive. It was only Sam and I in the arena and Gabby and then I guess was Kate there? Was Kate in there? Yeah. Kate was there. Um, so... I had this rule, like almost everybody, like the coaches and the parents were all out in the hallway just having the best time. They were just chatting it up and I was in the arena and I was thinking, man, I wish I could be chatting with them, but I have this rule that if my girls are on horses that we have to be there. Like we have to, or at least one of us has to be there. And then just Sam just followed me in. So we were in the arena and I filmed just a tiny bit, you guys saw it. And then, 
Um, Sophie walked around a couple of times and she started to pick up the trot and she literally took two steps. Denver spooked just this random spook and it wasn't even a big spook, but he spooked and Sophie wasn't prepared. She wasn't expecting it. Like literally she was doing nothing. The lesson hadn't even started yet. I don't even know. I was just like so shocked. She was shocked. She wasn't even holding on. Is that why you weren't holding on? Yes. Because you like literally had the, that would never happen in a million years. It was such such a fluke. So when he spooked, she wasn't expecting it, and I don't even know how, but she just flew right over his neck. We. Hey. <laughs> oh, and anyways, it was. So it wasn't even that bad of a fall. She did land on her head and that's why we took her to the hospital. We called an ambulance because Equine Canada requires you to go to the hospital and seek medical attention if you fall on your head and she did fall right on her head. So the paramedics were able to take her helmet and show she ended up falling on the front of her head and so her face is a little messed up. She has a bit of a concussion. She's not doing much today. She's just hanging out in her chair. Uh, we stayed at the hospital till about 3 a.m. And the doctors feel like she's going to be kind, be fine. She feels a little nauseous. She can't walk around too much or hurts her head. The typical um, concussion story. Right, Sophie? How do you feel today? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you feel worse today or better today? Um, one more sore today. Where are you sore? Um, my shoulder, my neck, and my face hurts. Yeah, so she landed with her face. Oh, just the side of my face. That's just the side of her face. She landed on her face and she swelled up pretty good, pretty fast. She's starting to look a little bit better, I think. She hit her nose, she hit her shoulder, but it was just such a fluke fast thing. Like, poof, she was on the ground. It was pretty fast. We called the ambulance, they came. We don't like to mess around when the kids hit their head. We always want to be there and like be taking care to make sure that they're okay. I've heard stories about other people who hit their head and are walking around for like days before something awful happens. So it's important to us as parents to make sure she gets checked out. And she did and she's going to be fine. She just has to rest for a little while. You guys know no riding for a week or longer if she doesn't tolerate it. And um... Yeah, she got a, a puke, puke bag, she got a bracelet, she got the nurses and the paramedics were incredible to her. All the, yeah, we got all the nice people. Yeah, we got all the nice people, which is so amazing. Like, Sophie seriously got all the nice people. They were so incredible. But anyway, that is the whole story. I wish it was better. <laughs> if you're going to mess up your face, it should at least be like, I saved a child from a, a runaway car. <laughs> No, I, just I jumped in front of a horse to save somebody. But yeah, Sophie just um, wasn't paying attention, started to trot, <laughs> took a couple of steps, and was an unexpected thing. I went with Sophie to the hospital, and Sam stayed at the arena with Gabby. The only one parent is allowed because of COVID at the hospital anyway. So I went with, so with Sophie to the hospital, and Sam stayed. And I guess he said after, you know, Gabby fell. He fell at a horse show. He passed out at a horse show. And then Sophie fell. And he said, don't let Laura ride any horses. <laughs> so now I feel like I'm the only one that hasn't fallen this month. Like, this is such a fluky, weird thing. I believe there are messages in everything. And I'm going to take my time and try and figure out what it is. But I don't think that it's that I'm not meant to ride my horse. It's done. It happened in three. Oh, that's such a good point, got Sophie. It did. It happened in three. It's done now. No it's more. done. No more. Good. I, mean, I haven't fallen off for a while. Yeah, you haven't fallen off for a long time. Until yesterday. Until yesterday. Anyway, she'll be fine. She's good. She's been taken care of. This eye is really annoying because I have to lift it up to be able to, like, it not to bother me. Because it's, like, drooping with my eye and it's, like, annoying. Yeah. Anyways, um, Sophie was excellent at the hospital. She told them, like, she, they were all surprised. She felt as good as she did right after the fall. If you see me going like this, it's because I'm trying to get it to not be... Does it hurt? No, it's just annoying. It hurts when it touches. 
you know, don't touch it. Anyway, I wanted to share it with you guys because, like I said, we do daily videos. So, I didn't want Sophie to just suddenly just be not in our videos. Or all of a sudden, Sophie just stops riding in her lesson program. I wanted to keep you guys updated and let you know that she did have a little tiny fall. It was just a fluke. Just a weird, random fly over her horse's head for no reason. At, like, a light trot. <laughs> But anyways, I'm proud of her. I'm happy that I was there and was able to support her through her fall. I'm grateful that I'm able to go to every single lesson and that we're there together, all of us as a family, and that Sam goes and that I go and that Gabby was there. And Gabby has just been through a fall, so we were able all to support her and love her and spend time with her. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't you know that you're beautiful?